You've seen a few of these shows. We've been, we go back to Etra, Red Herring, and so forth. Uh, how do you uh, rate uh, Disrupt? Well, you know I love conferences, Andy. Uh, I think this is probably the best technology conference that has ever happened in New York. I have to give it to Michael and, and Eric and uh, Arden. I mean, these people are, know what they're doing and they have the audience. And, and it's really great for New York. I mean, to have a conference of this quality about technology and what's happening right now on the internet here is, it also is indicative, I think, of a new energy that is building in New York. But what really blows me away is all the people who flew out from Silicon Valley and Palo Alto who were here in New York for a tech conference. That's never happened before. So tell us about your new business. What's up? Well, my new business is Techonomy, which I'd love to talk about because um, I've got two big projects, the book and the Techonomy. But Techonomy is a conference and media company that I've started with two Fortune colleagues, Brent Schlender and Peter Petri. None of us, of course, are there anymore. And a couple of other partners, including the Van Heist Group, Michael Christman and Carolyn Jones, all of whom have different talents but are incredibly capable people. And it's a conference about the future of the world and why technology has to be central to it. That's the idea. It's not a tech industry conference like this, great as this is. I love these, and I will always come to these. But our thing is really about an idea that we really hold very firmly that if you don't embrace technology and technology change and the exponentiality of technology change, you're likely not to run a successful business, you're, not li you're likely not to solve the problems that the world faces, and you're likely to not to be an effective leader. And we really are trying to promulgate an idea of techonomic thinking, that's what we call it, techonomy, and we like this word techonomic, that is a different way of putting technology change at the center of the dialogue about strategy and solving the world's problems and keeping business relevant. That's what we're all about. So it's a little bit of Davos coming to Lake Tahoe this summer? What's happening? Well, it's a little bit of Davos, but Davos doesn't put technology at the center. In fact, Davos, to some extent, pushes technology a little bit off to the they, they nicheify it in a way that is acceptable. They do that with everything. They, you know, they have industry, governors, groups, etc. And I'm a big Davos person, as you know, but I, I believe this is really about looking at, it's sort of like Brainstorm, which I did at Fortune, which is a way to talk about the future, talk about the big problems we face as leaders, and put technology at the center of that dialogue. And there's two reasons why I think that's critical. One is, most leaders are still afraid of tech. They still see tech as a threat to whatever they do. And frankly, it is, frequently. Uh, however, the great thing is that if you really embrace Moore's Law and what's happening in biotech and genomics and all the exponentiality that's really just washing over the world today, you realize that you can solve all kinds of problems that you couldn't solve before. So if you're really a visionary leader, you want to be in this space because you can do things that the old way just never made possible. Now there was a discussion on stage between Steve Case and Michael Arrington this morning about whether you know the East Coast or the West Coast is really where, you know, whether the West Coast is where they understand the future and the East Coast is just defending the past. That's what Arrington was saying and he loves to say controversial things, of course. And there is some truth to it, but it's not geographically bound. There's just as many people in San Francisco holding on to old, crappy business models and, and foolish ideas about how things aren't changing as there are in New York. I mean, the San Francisco Chronicle got screwed just like every other newspaper, right? So, and it is media that's been an interesting case study of this whole mindset. But I think you can look at any interesting cement, you know. Steve Case is remaking the travel industry, you know. I mean, name an industry and I'll tell you why these people have to think about technology more than they do now. So tell us a little bit about uh, plans for the conference. Oh, good question. Thank you. You're good. Um, well, the conference is August 4th through 6th at Lake Tahoe in a brand new Ritz-Carlton called the Ritz-Carlton Highlands. Um, it only opened last December. And it's a spectacular venue, and it's going to be a relatively small event, about 250 people of the highest level, Davos quality, truly. We have Gates, Schmidt, Joy, Bezos, Benioff, uh, Stuart Brand, uh, uh, you know, I mean, I can't even think of them all, uh, E-Day, um, uh, Dana Boyd on the more new media, social media side, Sean Parker, Sean, Matt Kohler, um, uh, Michael Arrington's going to be there, I'm pretty sure. Uh, John Markoff's going to help us out with some stuff. Uh, Matt Marshall just said he wanted to come. Uh, we're going to have great press. We're going to have amazing people from around the world. We have, this is really interesting. We have partnerships with Ashoka, 
uh, which is going to bring five Ashoka Fellows from around the world, entrepreneurs from the developing world, social entrepreneurs. Uh, we have a partnership with Intel, which is bringing ten finalists from the Intel Science Fair. So we'll have young teenagers there who are like the next generation of technologists. We have sponsorships from companies like Chevron, so it's not just tech companies. And we're talking to a bunch of other big companies about being, you know, at least getting their senior executives there, Procter & Gamble, Dow Chemical, um, Citi, uh, and we're going to have a lot of people from those companies there. Um, so this isn't just a tech company conference, this is a, a conference about keeping everything more relevant by understanding the incredible changes that are happening in tech, which this conference here, TechCrunch Disrupt, really exemplifies, but putting that more at the center of the dialogue about everything else. David, congratulations on the new, this, this venture sounds amazing. Well, thank you. And all, all success to it. Thank you for your interest. I mean, you can see I love talking about it. <laughs>